we're going to get to it. Asia, Africa, Latin America, India. These aren't new markets. These are our homes. We live in a majority minority planet. It's OK to clap. It's all right. I know you're eating. Get into it. Relax. We're going to have some fun, all right? Big markets, big data, big money. This is the future of minority business. And for the past year, I've been obsessed with trying to reconnect the diaspora. And we've been pretty good. We invested about $20 million in high value services. And with that money, we've done about $3.6 billion in financing and contracts for our clients. And we're still counting money, right? Um, and we are working with some great partners like the National Association of Investment Companies to build a billion dollar growth equity fund. Because how many times when you're looking for investments do you hear that they cannot find you? Apparently, we need some reflective gear. So what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate that problem, and we're going to create a fund to invest in minority companies. That's number one. Number two, if you're a woman of color, please make some noise. Yes. How many of you were at our Med Week event where we had our women of color? Make some noise. Yes. Was Vivica A. Fox great or what? Well, you haven't seen anything yet because we are rolling out a year-long initiative to help women of color. You'll hear more about it. If you're from MBDA, please stand up so they know where to find you. We're going to have a huge announcement tomorrow about our programming and our partnership with NMSDC. So, yes. All right. Rule number two, I want to talk about data because we know very little about minority businesses. We know that they are growing super fast, and we know that they tend to be small. And we rely on about two-year-old data to know those two things. So at MBDA, we hire some super smart economists to do two things. Number one, help us get real-time data. And number two, to help calculate MBE's impact on the United States GDP. And we think that's important because we may be small and we may be disadvantaged, but minority businesses are the heart and the soul of minority communities. And due to changing demographics, soon we'll be the heart and soul of America. And lastly, Go global. Now, we, we've been trying to do some new things because the hyphen was supposed to be something that connected us to our ancestors. But the hyphen has been used to disconnect us to our new homes. So it's Asian or American. It's African or American. It's Hispanic or American. And it's Native or American. So what we're trying to do is we are trying to turn that hyphen into a plus because it's Asian and American. It's African and American. It's Hispanic and American. And it's Native and American. And we believe that our culture is our strength. And we're going to leverage our connectivity to this planet 
to help grow businesses to size and scale. So thank you.